This is an exceptionally good book on the science of learning. I wanted to share it with you because, well, I think it could change your life. The book has two main takeaways. They're like the bad news and the good news. The bad news is that it's very likely that the way you learn doesn't work. And I'll demonstrate that to you soon. A lot of research has been done into learning. It's very well understood. And there are a set of techniques that anybody can use that can significantly improve your ability to learn. And they've been actually tested on people and have transformed mediocre students into outstanding ones. They're covered in this book and throughout this video, I'm going to share those techniques with you. So keep watching to find out what they are. So that is a very brief summary of the book. What I like about it is that all of the claims made are based on scientific evidence rather than anecdotal evidence or author assertions. So you can be confident that there is something behind the claims. So let's take a deeper dive and start by looking at those learning techniques that you probably use that are completely ineffective. Highlighting doesn't work. Rereading, that doesn't work either. Neither does mass practice when you do something over and over and over again. The reason these methods don't work is because they give you fluency of the text rather than mastery of the concept. So going over and over and over the text that you're reading, the, the book that you're reading, means that you get to know the book and the way it's written and you get to know the text. And that gives the illusion of understanding and knowing the subject, when actually you don't. So not only do these methods not work, they can actually be damaging. Fortunately, science, and therefore the book, has an answer for that too. In fact, it has several, but perhaps the most important thing you need to know is this. Retrieval. What was that? Retrieval. Can you say it again? Retrieval practice. Retrieval practice. It seems we learn better when we try to retrieve information from our brains than when we try to put it in. So the answer is to test yourself and test yourself as much as you can when you're reading a book, when you finish reading the book, and when you're lying in bed at night thinking about the book. Actually, no, that one might just keep you awake all night, so, so don't do that one. But do do retrieval practice and testing. They're extremely effective learning strategies. It's not all about retrieval. There are other methods too. That's true. And what are they? Spacing, interleaving, elaboration, generation and reflection. But before all that, there's one thing more that you need to know about retrieval. And that is, it's not just about memorization. It's about really engaging with and understanding what you're reading by testing yourself on the main concepts as you go along. Now, let's get back to those other methods. So in this bit, I wanted to talk to you about the other methods. That's spacing, interleaving, elaboration, reflection and generation. And I tried, I really tried to record something about it that I thought would be interesting. It's true, I really did. But as you can see, no matter how many times I recorded it, I couldn't get the explanation below about 12 minutes, which I think was just too long. So I've done something else instead. The link to a paper that I think you'll find really interesting that just summarizes these methods much better than watching them in a video. The paper's linked to in the description. It's called Teaching the Science of Learning. So YouTube homework for today is to read that paper and learn more about the other methods. And my homework is to learn how to focus a camera. I have just a few final thoughts that I'd quickly like to share with you. Uh, the book is under 300 pages. It's quite an easy read. You can comfortably read it in a few days. And it also has a list of all of the scientific papers that it mentions uh, and, and the research that it mentions in the book. So if you want to dig deeper and read those, uh, you know where to go. I think I paid about 20 pounds. I think it was 20.95, um, which was pretty good value, I thought. If you don't know these learning techniques, you are at a significant disadvantage to people that do know them because their learning will be much better than yours. However you get to know these techniques, whether you buy the book or whether you read the paper that I've linked to in the description, teaching the science of learning. If you want to become a better learner, learn these techniques first. They will transform the way you learn and you won't believe the results they have. Now, what about a little test? I mentioned earlier the other methods after I mentioned retrieval practice. Can you remember what they were? 